Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Sai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Sai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Sai. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of GMS, and I also want to say salutations to the, the brothers, the prophets of GMS. And today, I want to go into a quick lesson of the 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 Rara, or the law, all right, and its breakdown, all right. Um, starting. You know with the book of Genesis because you know a lot of us grew up in the church system and we'll recite chapters and the names of chapters chapters without really realizing the origins which the origin is in the Hebrew but um even when you look at the English words it goes back to the Greek and it has a, a Greek meaning and basically it adds um, authenticity to what you're reading for example the first book it's Genesis. Now, I also want to give one of the sources, one of my sources for this is it's called Mastering New Testament Greek Essential Tools for Students by Thomas A. Robinson. And I believe it shows up backwards, but like I said, I just recited it. Recited it. It's by Thomas A. Robinson. So you can check it out, order it online or whatever. It's pretty it's pretty useful. It breaks down a lot of um, um, Greek words. All right. The second book, I mean, second source is online etymology dictionary. But cut right into it. The first book is Genesis. Now, the root word in Genesis is gene, and that's where you get genealogy, because ultimately it's the genealogy of Israel, um, starting with Adam. All right. So with that, I want to get Genesis chapter five. It says. This is the book of the generations, which generations, the root word in generations is gene, all right? They say, you know, he get he has that in his genes because it's in his DNA, so to speak. It was carried off in his DNA. This is the book of the age. This is the book of the generations of Adam and the day that the Most High created man and the likeness of the power made he him. Male and female, showing you that Adam wasn't one man, it was a group of men, all right? Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam, which Adam basically goes back to the word uh, from from the ground, all right? And the day when they were created, all right? Then it goes into the genealogy. Example, verse 3, And Adam lived a hundred years and thirty, a hundred and thirty years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image, and call his name Seth. So that's a description of the genealogy. And I'm going to go to <clears throat> Luke. I believe it's uh, Luke the third chapter. I'm going to read the last, say, three verses. Alright, this is, uh, I'm not going to read the whole chapter, but is Luke the third chapter as a reference so you brothers can read it you know on your own time but uh, it says um, Luke chapter 3 verse 23 and Yahweh himself began to be about 30 years of age being as was supposed the son of Joseph which was the son of Heli which was the son of Methat which was the son of Levi which was the son of Melchi, which was the son of Jana, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Matthias, which was the son of Amos, which was the son of Nahum, which was the son of Esli, which was the son of Naik. So I just read the first three, now I want to skip down to the last three. Verse 35, Luke chapter 3, verse 35, which was the son of Saruk, which was the son of Ragai, which was the son of Philag, which was the son of Heber, which was the son of Salah, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Arphaxad, which was the son of Sem, Shem, which was the son of Noah, which was the son of Lamech, which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Elak, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Malalia, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of the Most High, because Adam 
was Yahweh Shai. Alright, and just real quick, going off the spirit. <coughs> this is um, 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And um, let's see where it is. I'm in the 15th chapter. Basically, it's going to the proof that Adam was Yahweh Shai. All right, because the point of this lesson is the genealogy, but just for edification's sake. a lot of brothers. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 44. It is sown as a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written. The first man Adam was made a living soul and the last man Adam was a quickening spirit. Alright. So the proof. The first man Adam was a uh, proof that the first man was a um, quickening soul, which was that was really a high side. The first man was really a high was shot, all right. And he was he was uh, he he first came back as Adam, all right. He started the genealogy of the Genesis of Israel, all right. That's why he said in Genesis, "I am the first and the last, the Alpha and Omega," all right. Um, the first verse forty seven. The first man is of the earth, earth, earthy. The second man is of the most high from heaven. All right. But I put, that's pretty much it on that. But yeah, so the first book is Genesis, which I just gave examples of the Genesis goes back to Gene, which is the genealogy or the generations of Adam, starting with Adam, which was really how was shot. All right. He's the father of our nation in that aspect. All right, the second book is Exodus, and I got this information from, like I said, Mastering, Mastering New Testament Greek by Thomas A. Robinson, all right, Essential Tools for Students. I know it shows up backwards on here, but um, the second book is Exodus. Now, the word Exodus, um, the word X goes back to out. I hear an exit sign, all right, then it has the key, one of the key elements, Old, Exodus, X and Old, O D, from the Greek. Old means way, so it's really saying out of the way, all right? Because we were in Egypt, then we went out of the way of Egypt, and us is a Greek suffix, all right? So you have X O D U S or X O D U S. X meaning out, old means way, and us is the Greek suffix. You know, in English. A suffix was something that completed a word. All right, you have, like I said, you have an exit sign, which means to leave. An old um, means uh, way out of the, out of the way of Egypt, because if you read Exodus, those were the events that were happening. It led to us being out of the way of Egypt. So you have Genesis genealogy, Exodus out of the way of Egypt, and uh, Leviticus. Leviticus, it literally means the book of the Levites, all right? And I'm basically going back to the Greek words, although the, the, the Torah, the Torah goes back to the Hebrew. In this lesson, I'm just going to keep it simple or, you know, in the Greek, going back, I'm going to keep it going back to the Greek. So Leviticus literally means the book of the Levites, all right? Um, there was, if you read Leviticus, it basically gives the order of the law and the customs of the priests. All right, the order, the government, uh, how how they conducted themselves in the sanctuary, what were they were to what were they to sacrifice? All right, and how were they going to sacrifice it? All right, just the, the government. All right, so you have Genesis genealogy or generations, which goes back to Gene, Exodus out of the way, Leviticus the book of the Levites, Genesis Exodus Leviticus Numbers numbering is. Numbers goes back to the numbering of Yasha Allah, the numbering of the sectioning off 
of uh, Israel. All right, basically it's breaking down of the tribes, the leaders, the elders, so on and so forth. All right, so you have Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Now, <clears throat> Deuteronomy basically means second law, and to break that down, do it goes back to the first element is do, d u e. I'm sorry, d e u which means two. Like in the hip hop world they say deuces. Alright? Or you have two people singing a song, you call it a duo or a duet. Alright? It basically uh, symbolizes two. Then it has a, the second element, gnome. Or gnome is where you, which means law. Like you have something called economy. Eco means house and no me means law or management. It's house management. America's economy is its house management. All right, so duto or duter run on me, no me means law or no one goes back to law and do du or duo means two. So it's basically the inculcating, the the repeating of the law. All right, because Israel we have a, Israel has a stubborn heart, so the Most High basically repeated the law. So you go ahead. The first element is do du, d e uh, oh, D E U, and the second element is known, which means law. All right, second law. So that's the completion of the meaning of the first five books of the word. All right, because you know, a lot of whether it's the Israelite, different Israelite camps that claim to be Israelites, uh, or you know, I U I C, or Yohanna, whoever it may be, or just the, just the different churches. You know, we they say it, they read the Bible, they read the word. And they quote them, but they don't really know the meaning of, of the words they say. And you know, with GMS, that's our specialty. Alright, because it's, it's, a, it's power in breaking down words. Alright, in order, in order to, to get to the bottom of something, you dissect it to its roots. Alright, but with that, I'm just going to close it. I hope brothers were edified. And uh, with that, I'm going to say shalom.